today I'm going to be showing you how to customize the home page of a Canvas course. When you get a brand new Canvas course, it looks something like this for teachers. And I'm going to show you how to make it look something like this for your students. The first thing I always like to do is to simplify the navigation tabs on the side. And then the second thing I do is create a PowerPoint slide that I upload right here. That gives students just basic descriptions of each of the areas that they can click on. So for starters, let's simplify our navigation bar on the side. Just go into the course that you want to work with, and you're going to go all the way down on the left to settings. In here, you'll be able to customize exactly how you want the bar to look on the left for students. So if I don't want class notebook, I can click and just drag it down here. And it automatically goes out of student view, or you can click these three dots on the side and click disable. Now, just because they don't have the option to click quizzes doesn't mean you can't upload a quiz into a module. Or just because you don't see the Google Drive option doesn't mean you can't upload a Google Drive link into a module. So if that's good, you're going to scroll all the way down and push save. Make sure you push save, otherwise it's going to go back to the way it was before. So after it's saved, we are ready to make our home page. And to do that, we're going to use PowerPoint. So in the event of time, I've already started to create my PowerPoint slide that I want to be my home page. I just put a basic title and I gave descriptions of each of the navigation options. I changed the color. You can change the font, make it big, make it small, whatever you want. I'm also going to add a background just to make it a little more exciting. I found a picture already of a chalkboard. So it looks like it's on a chalkboard. When you're ready to go and it looks the way you want it to look, you're going to go to File and then Save As and save it to your desktop or wherever you can find it. The most important part is that you don't save it as a PowerPoint, but instead you save it as a JPEG. So make sure you push JPEG and then save. Now, which slide do you want to export? Just this one. It was only one slide anyway. Now we're ready to go back into Canvas and make it our home page. So we're going to upload it as a page. So you need to go over here on the left, push page. And then you're going to push plus page. Now it wants a title in this box, so let's call it home. Now, because we saved it as a JPEG, we are able to embed it as an image into this. So you're going to click this little tree with a sun icon. Click the Canvas tab, and we're going to upload it as a file into Canvas. So we're going to put it into My Files in Canvas, and then you're able to push Upload. And here it is right here. I'm just going to select it. It's uploaded. Now we scroll down. Make sure it's selected right here. It should be in dark gray, and then push Update. And it automatically puts it into the text box for you. So this is all students will see. You'll hit save and publish, which means it's ready to use. So this is exactly how it looks from a published point of view. You're going to push these three dots and then select use as front page. And you'll see automatically these words popped up front page right next to the word published. Let's go back to home. And you'll see it's still not the home page yet because we have to go over here to the right and choose home page. Now the option pages front page, and you see it says home in italics, small right there. We're gonna select that and push save. And there it is. Now from a student view, if you wanna see it, you can click student view and it will show us exactly how it's gonna look for them.